here's your host, Derek D. <laughs> ah, thank you. It's, it's like I just get dropped in just perfectly. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Welcome to the show. It's a good one. As if we'd ever tell you it's a bad one. But we actually have more news today than we could possibly use, so we'll get right into some of the best reveals from the Geneva Motor Show's press days and a few other things, of course. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. This is Fastlane Daily. Let's check the curtain. Oh, it's Tom Cruise from Cocktail. Why is he so pissed? It's Thirsty Thursdays. Wow, oh, he doesn't blink. <laughs> hey, Tom! <laughs> Yes, you are right. We are in Geneva. Isn't this cool to be here in? Awesome. Even though in that camera it looks exactly the same, but we're in the middle of a lake right here in Geneva. We're in Switzerland. We moved the whole studio. Yeah, we moved the whole thing. We got that kind of budget. Anyway, <laughs> the motor show is still a rockin', so we're a knockin'. All right, that's probably officially the corniest thing I've ever said. That's stupid. Oh, Derek, every one of your jokes is corny. Keyboard's over here, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> there were more reveals that we could possibly cover. So let's just jump to the most interesting and exciting releases, all right? Now, just to warn you, it's going to get super car heavy up in here. So be prepared and don't hate. Oh, and P.S. Excuse us if we pass on a couple of, reveal of the reveals that we've already spoke about recently here on FLD, like the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, Infiniti Emerge E, or Emerge, Porsche Boxster S, Jaguar XF Sport Brake, Aston Martin Zagato, Sexy, and Audi TT RS Plus. All right, so let's start with Gumper. We showed you the teasers last week, but now we have the revealed models from Geneva. Introducing the Apollo R. Yes. And the complete track-ready monster, the Apollo Enraged. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> I threw my voice. That is crazy. It's a pretty insane name, though. Enraged. Which is basically the Apollo R cop and street legal styles. The Apollo Enraged ups the power from the Audi Source 4.2 liter V8 to 780 horsepower while actually cutting the weight a bit. The race ready Apollo R can be bought but never used on the street in a legal way, that is. And it's got 860 horsepowers all up in it. So it's, a, it's, it's beast mode. Can we do it again, Ian? <laughs> what if I just talk the whole time like this? Moving on to another insane hypercar, the new Bugatti Grand Sport Vitesse. The fastest production roadster ever. Think Super Sport with a removable roof with 1,184 unicorn powers. Yes, that's right. Once you're above 1,000 horsepower, it now becomes unicorn power. It's that special. It's magical. <laughs> it's magical. It's unicorn power. Up next is the Lotus Exige S Roadster. Basically just an Elise with a bigger engine. I must first tell you that there's no plans for this to come to the US. So I'm sorry. So let's not get too excited fellow Americans. Anyway, power comes from a supercharged 3.5 liter V6 engine with 345 horsepower. Now that's a lot, because it's a small Lotus, small cars, it's a lot of horsepower. It can be had with a six speed manual or an optional serial precision shift SPS gearbox. 0 to 60 comes in 1, 2, 3.8 seconds, and it tops out at 145 miles per hour while getting 28 miles per gallon. That is not bad. But Lotus, we're still waiting on all those concept models we saw a while back. Come on, show us all those models. We're waiting. We're, yeah, that's, that's exactly right. We are waiting for those. I'm waiting for them, and they're just not showing up. All right, good job, Ian. Carbon fiber, Hyundai Huayra at Geneva all opened up looking like a damn transformer. And you'll never afford it. All right, let's step away from supercars now and talk the Nissan High Cross concept, which is basically the Nissan Murano of the future, the X-Trail. It comes with a hybrid powertrain, which is an electric motor with a 2.0 liter direct injection gas unit that Nissan says is the performance equivalent of a 2.5 liter gas engine with the fuel economy of a much smaller car. It also has Nissan's Xtronic CVT transmission set for front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive configurations. Once again, I kind of dig the styling, but will the production version look anything like this concept? I mean, 
everyone would like the concept version of their kid to be Tom Brady. But many will just end up with this. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. And yes, that gentleman does have shorts on. They are just engulfed by his roles. That is just not good. He probably plays a lot of, uh, what's that, those games with another world? EverQuest. EverQuest. He plays a lot of EverQuest. Uh, Tom Brady doesn't play EverQuest. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap up the show with a side story that you probably heard of, but just in case you haven't, I'm going to tell you. While shooting a segment of Korea's Top Gear series, a crew helicopter crashed in the Arizona desert. Both the pilot and camera guy escaped without injury thanks to the thick shell of the ex-military aircraft. Walking away from helicopter accidents like a boss. Boss. Ugh. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, you guys saw that, right? I mean, it's, it happened a couple days ago, but... A crazy crash. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah, it does suck to crash yeah. in anything <laughs> that flies. All right, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. My name is Derek D, and I will see you tomorrow. Or strike that, reverse it. You'll probably see me. It's kind of hard for me to... You get what I'm saying? We're on Twitter. Follow us there. We're on Facebook. You can like us there. And subscribe to us right here on YouTube. And if you get mad that I say that every day, I don't care because I would like you to do it. Because I am your friend. We are friends. I am your friend. I called last week to wish you a happy birthday, and I'm sorry, Frank. I'm sorry I didn't get a hold of you. I left a message. I'm sure someone's name is Frank that's watching. Oh, no. Oh, Derek. <laughs> uh, this is my birthday. I wish I had birthday me. Okay, happy birthday, Joey. Happy birthday, Bob. Happy birthday, Bill. Uh, uh, Sebastian. Derek Tito, my favorite time of the day is what? when we get to move the FLE desk back onto the set. Geneva sounds like a chick. Geneva. I was in Geneva last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who? Why can't I think of a name? Like, there's so many names, and I'm like drawing You're a like blank. Mike, Matt, Sebastian. You're right. <laughs> yeah, who's Sebastian? What, the, what, the, what is that? Vettel. Vettel. Duh. Yes, it is. That's probably why it wasn't that. Oh, okay. Wow. That's just, let's just end. We're just going to end now. <laughs> this is, yeah. Are you done? We are. We are.